Hi again after a long break. In this video, we will see how to make this type of animation with a completely free plugin. Let's get started without wasting time. First, we create a new composition. Then we create a solid and name it. We drag the PNG image we downloaded to the timeline panel. I will leave this image in the description section, you can download it and practice with me. After locking the image and selecting solid, we select pen tool. And we start adding our mask. We need to fix these parts, for this we press the Alt key and fix the cursor. Unlike other programs, working with Pen Tool in After Effects can be a little difficult, but you get used to it over time. This part can take a long time, so I will speed it up a little. In the meantime, I recommend you to visit my channel and look at the other videos. I am sure there are many videos that will be useful to you. If you subscribe to the channel and open notifications, you can also be informed about new videos. Of course, you can share your thoughts with me, I read all the comments one by one. We have finished our first mask. Now we add the mask of our other text in the same way. Okay, this process is completed. Now we add the thick stroke plugin from the effects panel to our mask. This is a completely free plugin, I will leave the link in the description. We don't need the photo anymore, so we delete it. Now we select solid. We make the width start and width end 30. We change the gradient with a 4 color gradient. Then we start adjusting the colors. These colors and the gradient type are my choice, you can choose the one you want appropriately. Now let's move on to the animation part. We open the trim path and activate the end keyframe and set its value to 0. We go forward 1 second and set the end value to 100. We select the layer and press the letter U. We select the keyframes we have given and press the F9 key on the keyboard, thus giving it easy ease. We open the graph editor and adjust the speed graph like this. Yes, it looks good, but we're not done yet. We copy one from our mask layer and change its name so that we don't mix it up. Now we start the start keyframe of the layer we copied. We go forward one second and set its value to 100. We select the layer and press the letter U, thus all the keyframes we have given will be visible. We adjust the width start value and width end value of the line layer like this. We move the start keyframes that we gave a few frames forward. We only select the line layer. Now we set the influence's value of the line layer to width. And we adjust the start width value again. Okay, it looks very good. We select the start keyframes and give them easy ease. And we adjust the speed graph from the graph editor like this.
It seems like it would be better if we pulled the start keyframes back a little. Yes, it's done now. Now we select the keyframes at the end, press the control key on the keyboard and click once with the mouse, thus we remove the easy ease that I gave. And now it looks much better. Now we copy another one of the layers and move it to the upper layer. Then we select the effect mask of the layers that we copied as mask 2. Thus, the effects and animations that we applied before will be applied to our second text. We adjust the place where the second mask starts like this, thus one text will end and the other will start. We select the keyframes at the end and give them easy ease. And we adjust the speed graph like this. We remove the easy ease of the keyframes in the front. Let's shorten the work area a little. Very good, but let's make a final edit. We start the width end keyframe, and we set its value to zero where the animation ends. Yes, it's much better like this. That's all for this video. I hope it was useful for you. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications so that you can be informed about new videos. See you in other videos.